Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks for joining me. So today we're gonna take another look at a bell tress style, and this is a new one called Bespoke in the color Butterbeer Blonde, so stay tuned. As always, I wanna thank Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this wig so I could bring a review for you today. So if you are interested in Bespoke, head over to Wigs by Patty's Pearls. They have amazing customer service. Okay, so let's jump into this new style. And I gotta say, Whenever Beltress comes out with new styles, I'm really eager to try them out. And there's a couple of reasons. I personally really love the fibers. They're heat defiant fibers. I think feel very natural. They're very fine. They're incredibly soft. So I love that. And the other reason why I love Beltress is most of their styles are on the lower density side. And for me, Coming from somebody who has never been used to having big, thick hair, this feels a lot like me. So, you know what, stay tuned and we'll talk a little bit more about this particular style. Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, Bespoke is a new style for Beltress. And as you can see, it is a gorgeous, long, layered piece and it's from their cafe collection. So whenever you see a wig from Beltress that indicates it's from the cafe collection, the one thing to know is that they will come with their heat defiant fibers, which means that you could style this wig. So you could use your heat tools. Perhaps you wanna add some curls. Perhaps you wanna straighten it even further. You wanna keep the heat below 350 degrees, but you do have the flexibility, given this is heat defiant synthetic fiber, to be able to style this wig as you wish. Okay, so at the longest points, this wig is 20 inches. So it has a tremendous amount of length, but why don't I do a turn so that you can see the style from all sides. So clearly this is my front. If you were to bring all of the hair forward, you can tell that it's a very reasonable density and realistic density. You can also get an ear tuck. I'll get up close so that you can see that. You could absolutely get an ear tuck, little bit more difficult on this side than this side, but if you're an ear tucker like me, you could absolutely do that. So there is your front. This is my right side, the back, and I'll put all the hair at the back so that you can see both its length and the density. I think the fiber movement feels really good. And then my left-hand side, and then back to the front. So let's talk about cap construction on Bespoke. This is a wefted cap with a left-handed monofilament part and a creative lace front. And you may have heard that term or seen that term online, creative lace front. And that is specific to bell tress wigs. Um, typically those um, creative lace fronts will run temple to temple. And then what you see then is an extension of that Sorry, that's where the lace ends and then into the ear tabs. So you have the left-handed monofilament part, which means you can part it anywhere within that monofilament part and get the illusion of scalp. And why don't I get up close so that you can see the hairline on, that's a little bit of my own bio hair coming out. The lace is quite short actually on this one. I can, right up to my nail is the end of the lace but I don't think that that's impeding the way that it looks at all. I think it looks very natural. I think the transition um, from the lace into the ear tabs is very natural. I think it looks really good. So before I go ahead and take this off so we can look at the inside of the cap, let's talk about the lengths on this. And as I mentioned earlier, and as you can probably already see, there is a number of layers. And I mentioned earlier that it's at its longest length, it's 20 inches. But the shorter pieces here is what you will see. So these front sections are eight inches. Okay, the front sections here are eight inches. The nape, which is the portion right at the back of your neck, is between 13 and 13 and a half inches. The back, which is here down, is between 13 and 21. And Beltress always provides an overall, um, an overall length. And this is classified between eight to 21 inches in length. 
So as far as the weight, Bespoke weighs 5.9 ounces. And I have to say that that is on the higher end of the average synthetic wig. I think it's explainable certainly in the length that you're getting out of this piece. So that's contributing to that slightly higher weight on Bespoke, but it doesn't feel heavy on my head. And I think that's in part due to the very realistic density of these fibers and the amount of hair. Certainly there's enough hair here to get all the coverage that you're looking for, but also still resulting in a very realistic density and the denier of those fibers is very fine. So I have Bespoke in Butterbeer Blonde, which many of you know is one of my favorite blondes, and certainly my favorite blonde from the Beltress line. And for those of you that really love Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch, I think even when you look at all brands across the board, if you're looking for the closest match to Shaded Biscuit, it would be, in my opinion, Beltress's Butterbeer Blonde. And as you can see, it is a rooted shade. It is rooted with a medium brown root. And then the body of this color is really a blend of three different blondes. It's a sandy, an ash, and a light blonde. And whenever you have a color that has multiple shades within it, I think it helps to make it read very uh, natural and quite beautiful. All right, so I know cap construction is really important to many of us. So why don't I take Bespoke off and I can show you what the inside of her cap looks like. But why don't I give you another quick glance at both the beautiful layers and this beautiful Butterbeer Blonde shade, which is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that's what the inside of the cap looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it inside out so that we can take a look. So let's talk first about that creative lace front. I'll get up closer so that you can see. This is that left-handed monofilament part that I spoke about. So it doesn't quite go back to the crown, but I think there is enough length here from a parting perspective to get a good part, as well as a decent amount of movement within that monofilament part to adjust your parting space to best fit your needs. So the creative lace front, as you can see, stops at the top of the ear tab versus perhaps other wigs that you may have seen referenced as having extended lace fronts. When you see that, what that means is that the lace will run into the ear tabs, which really helps with the natural transition. With that said, I think the color placement on this particular piece that I have, um, even in the absence of an extended lace front, I think the hairline looked very natural, okay? So this is closed wefting at the top here, and then you have what's referred to as open wefted sides and back. So all of this portion here is machine made. This portion here would be handmade as far as how these fibers are adhered to the cap. You have the felt covered ear tabs, so these are very soft. There are metal stays within them so that you can curve them towards your temple. Um, and you'll see these hairs that are spliced into the side of the ear tabs. And the reason they do that is to make sure that it looks very natural the way the hair is lying, particularly from this portion of the cap down. And then you have what is referred to as the extended nape. And many of you know that this is one of the cap features that I really like. Um, Beltress typically uses bra strap like adjusters. So you can see here other brands, perhaps you may have seen Velcro adjusters. If I'm completely honest with you, if I'm to pick between the two, I do prefer um, Velcro adjusters, but there is nothing wrong with these. The only thing you're going to want to keep in mind is if you have a significantly smaller head and you need to adjust these um, adjusters at the back and you have a lot of excess, you have two options. Number one, you can tuck it up underneath your cap or number two, if you know you're gonna keep it there, then you could simply cut off the excess. That will avoid you, know, you being stuck in a position where that extender ha is hanging down below your wig, which you don't wanna do. Anyways, I hope you've taken, you've enjoyed taking a quick look at Bespoke. I love this style. I would honestly say I don't personally wear a style this long day in and day out. It wouldn't be my everyday driver, okay? Um, but I would love it for a night out, going out for dinner, going to a wedding, doing something special. It certainly makes me feel different with this beautiful long hair. So 
If you're looking for a style similar to this, go on over, head over to Wigs by Patty's Pearls, and they'd be happy to help you. Stay well and stay safe. Bye, everybody.